Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maureen O'Connor from Quilter 7 in Northbrook, Illinois, and I am the Opinionated Quilter. Today's episode number 104 is a quick, easy scrap quilt using your leftover two and a half inch strips. But before we get to that, a quick addition to last week's tips on getting the most from your sewing machine. I got a comment and it's really worth repeating. When you do have an issue, make sure everything's plugged in. It reminds me of the story of my dear sweet mother-in-law whose TV wasn't working. And she called the repairman and after a quick look at the TV, he informed her it only worked when it was plugged in. God rest her soul, I loved my mother-in-law. Another thing from last week that we talked about was the make your own stripe, easy stripe table runner. And I had said that I only had enough to get backs from two of the uh, stripe fabrics. But let me show you what I discovered. I said last week that I didn't have enough of this fabric to get the backing. But I discovered as I was putting the backings together that if I used what was left over from the tiniest stripe here, I should say strip, makes a stripe, gets a little confusing, and put it in the middle of what was left over from here, you get three backings. So from whether you buy a yard and a half or a yard and three quarters, depending on the length um, table runner you want, you can get three table runners, two candle mats, three backings, and all you need additional is the back for the candle mats, which two thirds of a yard is enough. I don't bind these, I just take the backing and fold it up and sew it down to cover the raw edge. And then you need binding for the table runners. And depending on um, the length of the table runner you do, five eighths to three quarters is enough. So you don't need very, very much at all to finish three table runners and two candle mats. Great gifts for your kids if you have three kids like I do. Okay, let's get to today's episode. I, like you, am always looking for ways to use my leftover strips and scraps. And I came up with this no waste scrap quilt. And the inspiration from it is this quilt, which was originally from Quilters Newsletter Magazine. It's called Coin Collecting. And um, I only have 12 strips here. I made 12 inch squares. The original pattern is 15 inch squares. And this is the block right here. So it's got the row of the scraps, two rows of the scraps, a wider piece in between, and then a narrower piece top and bottom. And as you can see, they're just oriented uh, vertically and horizontally, alternating, I should say. Well, I have a gazillion two and a half inch strips. So I said, I want to make this using two and a half inch strips, which is the exact opposite of what I almost always do. I'm always making things smaller, like I did with Lori Holt's Witch. But in this case, I didn't have as many one and a half inch strips and really would like to make a dent in the two and a half inch strips. And what that does, it makes um, you make less uh, squares and get a good sized quilt, which makes it perfect for Project Linus or whatever charity you like to make quilts for. So this is going to be a Project Linus quilt. And I chose eight of the um, scrap pieces. And that really works out great for sewing because then you can take two, so two together, two together, two together, two together, then put those twos into foursies, and then the two last together, and you've got your strip. Um, in addition, I worked really hard to use the math that would use up all the strip 
So the goal was, I don't want to put anything back in the scrap heap. It can only go in the dog bed pile. So that was my goal. It took me a while to get the numbers down, but this is how it shook out. So I used 32 two and a half inch strips and I put them into four sets of the eight. And then I did um, cut them into six inch pieces. So they'll finish to five and a half. And then I used, um, well, wait, before I get to then I used, after I cut the six inch pieces, there was a little bit left. So I cut two, two and a half inch strips. And this is what I had left from what I cut. I shouldn't show you the black. That's not what I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you this is what I had. And there were a couple of little bit larger pieces, and I'll cut a one and a half inch piece from those. But most looked like this. Total dog bed. So I'm very pleased with this amount of waste for this size quilt. So next, after you have your two and a half inch strip pieces cut, I needed 12 of the wider piece, the one that goes in here in the center. And I used finish to two, so cut two and a half by 16 and a half. And then I needed 24 of the narrower strips, the top and bottom. So those were cut two to finish to one and a half. And so it, you'd cut two by 16 and a half and that gets you a 16 and a half inch block. So to get a very good sized quilt, I um, only needed to make 12 blocks. You can literally make this in an afternoon. It's really fast. It's gonna take you longer to quilt it and bind it than it is to actually piece the thing. The other thing that is really great about this pattern and makes it perfect for um, Project Linus and other charity quilts is Nothing meets, absolutely nothing except for the blocks. Here's where there's seams here. They go to the solid piece here. Only thing that meets is where the blocks meet here and here in each row. And because they're all the same fabric, even if you didn't meet it perfectly, no one's going to notice because it's all the same fabric. So this just makes super easy sewing. It's also, if you'd like to make a not charity quilt, make it for yourself. If you're a newer quilter, this is a great project for a beginner. But let's move on. Um, like I said, it was 16 inch squares. So I did three across and four down. This is what our block looks like. There's actually eight in here. Even I didn't count, so I don't know what I have here. So the body of the quilt comes out to 48 by 64. Good sized quilt, lap quilt. Um, and then if you add the borders that I added, it comes to 54 by 70. And I added the extra pieces, the two and a half inch pieces here. Now you actually get the exact right amount to do the two sides. I didn't want to do that because I liked the ratio of the width to the length. And if I put all of the um, pieced borders on the two sides, for me, it would get too fat for how long it was. Now you can do whatever you want. I added to the bottom and top as well as the two sides. So, I'm quite pleased with this. Um, I don't know that it's my favorite quilt I've ever made, but I, one thing I do know for sure, the Project Linus recipients are so grateful and they love their quilts. And I know for sure there will be the right person to um, enjoy this quilt. Now I'd like to show you a little bit more on the sewing of the strips. So I've set up eight strips here to show you and 
this is a start of another one of the same because I like using these um, two and a half inch strips, getting them out of the, the box and using them. And I, I just go through my scrap pile, my two and a half inch strip pile, and I, you know, pulled out what I had. I pulled out what I had. Now, here's one that wasn't in a strip pile, but I thought it would go with it. So you can pull out scraps and then cut a two and a half inch strip too. But I started with the two and a half inch strips. So once I gather up all the two and a half inch strips and scraps that I'm going to use, I lay out eight. And you're going to need four of these. So I have already sewn these together in pairs. And I actually lay them out, go to the sewing machine like this, the stack of all four, sew, press, and lay them back out on the table. Now, I see in many videos, people sew this one to this one, then this one to this one, and so on and so forth till you get all the way across. Ladies and gentlemen, let's work smarter, not harder. So take all set four sets over to the sewing machine. Like I said, sew and press. Why do you want to press after each sew? Couple of reasons. If you took this whole thing to the sewing machine just to press, excuse me, took this whole thing to the sewing machine to press all four at the same time, it, it it's not necessarily great pressing. Um, you want to go each and every time because you can see something like this where I can see the yellow protruding from behind the red. If you've got this all sewn together, are you really going to go back to the sewing machine to rip this and fix this? If you do it each and every time, I would actually, if this was a real strip set of mine in here, I would rip this and I would fix it sew it again, press it, so that everything's nice and even. It's always good to measure these too to make sure that your seam allowance is accurate. So now you've got four sets of two, and you don't wanna sew all in the same direction because that can give you bowed strips. You also don't want to um, uh, just, sew from the other end and then end up perhaps like this and and then you can lose maybe those last two um two and a half inch strips at the end so the key to making this work is you line this up here and then you bring down to the other end So you can see where you need to start. So you, when you take this to the sewing machine, you're going to start sewing here. And see how that would have changed if you had just gone here and lined it up with this piece here? You don't want to just line up there. You want to line up so that the top stays even. So you're going to do that with this set as well. You'll take these to the sewing machine, sew, press, bring them back, and then you'll have this last one to sew. This will all be in one piece now. These will be attached, these will be attached, and you're going to do the same thing here. And come down, just like I did before, come down, and you're going to start sewing here press. You can always measure. It should measure exactly 16 and a half inches. If it doesn't, well, you should have been measuring all along. This should be four and a half, eight and a half, then 16 and a half. And if your seam allowance is off, when you cut your 16 and a half inch pieces, in my example over here in the black, um, it's they're, they're not going to match up easily. So make sure that your uh, quarter inch seam allowance is good. So that is my next version of the um, two and a half inch 
scrap leftovers or scraps, whatever you want to call them. Um, easy, fast quilt and virtually no waste. It's funny. I, I saw a video this morning that was advertised as a no waste uh, layer cake pattern. And so I thought, oh, that's funny. I'm going to film no waste two and a half inch strip today. And I, I looked at it. The first thing she did was took a layer cake and pulled out 28 of them and said, I'm going to use these 28. It's a no waste layer cake. Okay, so there's 40 or 42 in the layer cake, but she only used 28. In my opinion, that's not a no waste. I like the amount of waste I showed you. So uh, that is today's episode. I hope you can make a dent in your two and a half inch strip pile, as I am hoping to do. And at the same time, give to charity. Quilters are the most generous people in the world. Um, if you got something from this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, happy sewing.